What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to highlight another premium side quest. Uh, this is a new series that I'm doing to highlight different quest rewards and different things that you get for actually doing the side quests of ESO because I feel like every zone has 50 to 60 side quests with very limited rewards, but sometimes, sometimes they sneak in a banger with a, of a reward. And today we're actually going to talk about something that I really don't see a whole lot of people talking about, and that's this disguise right here that you actually see uh, my other character that I don't use as often wearing. And this is the disguise that you get for doing the Frighten Them, the Fearsome quest that you see in the top right corner. And we'll get into that in just one second. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple clerical things with you guys before we jump into today's video. So I'm working on trying to figure out how I can do uh, giveaways and give back to the ESO community. For those of you who don't know, I mean, I make YouTube videos. They're obviously monetized. I make usually between $50 to $150 a month in ad revenue, like in that region. Um, and I wanted to try to give back monthly, like, you know, give back like to one person in the month of April, one person in the month of March, you know, so on and so forth. So um, I can't see, like I could see total subscribers, but I can't see like who liked the video. So my thought was, was to like search through like the months of March and through the months of April and through the months of May and like just pick a comment. And then reply to that comment and say like, hey, you won, and then get in contact with you guys that way. I want to try to do some sort of giveaway, but I don't want it to be one of those like, oh, he's just saying he's doing this thing. So I'm still working on how I'm going to actually clerically do it. So if you guys have suggestions on how to do it, uh, just let me know. Because fun fact, I don't see who likes a video. So like I could have 100 likes on a video and it could just be like one of you guys in 100 alt accounts name like, Jake Clips biggest fan number one. The same way you guys could dislike a video. It could be like fuck Jake one, fuck Jake two, and then like a hundred accounts like that. And I would have no idea. So all those YouTubers who are like, you have to make sure you like the video. I don't think you have to make sure you like the video. Just as a 411. But that's the clerical pieces that I wanted to talk to you about. And today we're gonna actually talk about an item that you can't sell. And this is actually a disguise. Now there's actually a whole lot of disguises as you can see that this character has been collecting. Uh, but the thing I really like about this one is, is that one, it makes you actually translucent and it's bound um, to this specific character. So obviously you can't get rid of it. And it will not work in Cyrodiil, the Imperial City or its sewers. Why I think this is hilarious is they recognize that this is OP for like PVP purposes. Cause look at yourself. Like, I, if I had, didn't have, like, character titles on here, like, I could, like, sit against a wall and I wouldn't even be able to damn near see myself. Like, it, it becomes very difficult to see yourself here. So that's why I wanted to highlight this thing. And I feel like I don't see a whole lot of people wearing this. And I feel like this is really cool considering, you know, it's you, you get it one of two ways. There's two side quests here you can do. You can either do the main story quest, which will come in called Frighten the Fearsome, or... Uh, you can also take the daily, or uh, there's a quest outside Karag's Mine. The reason I did it through Hazar is, is because I hadn't done the prerequisite quest. So, not to make this too clerically confusing for you, but they basically, I was trying to figure out which quest you had to do ahead of time. And the simplest way to explain it is, is if you haven't done any green shade quests on a character, just walk yourself over here, the way shrine up here in Marbuk, walk down to the tree icon here talk to this bad man pajama he's gonna have you go walk 50 feet to, to the south talk to some dude and they're like hey put this thing on and when you actually go do the quest the actual disguise has a purpose it actually disguises you from the entities i'll show you here now we're not actually going to do the quest because i believe that doing side quests is painful I'm not a huge questy boy if i can avoid it but i'll show you why they they use this here but you can also see like this this disguise actually goes really well, I feel, with different outfits and things. But you can see in the actual quest, it disguises you. So that's like its whole purpose and things, is it actually acts as a disguise for you to wear in this little area here so you can blend in against, I think it's like wood elves or something. There's, there's some lore reason here. I'm sure turning you into a ghost-looking thing has the benefit of making you difficult to see. So really, it should be the perfect disguise for any quest. Um, because you, you're, you're completely translucent or are you more transparent? I didn't actually do very well in high school art class many, many years ago. So you can just tell me in the comments below if it's translucent, transparent or something completely different. But 
what I like about it is it's like I, I just don't see people wearing it. And people in ESO are very, very heavy on outfits. And whenever you leave the actual area, you'll have to take it on and take it back off again. Um, just because in that specific area, it acts as a disguise. But when you actually transfer areas, it'll stay on. But what I like about it is everyone is so competitive on ESO about like fancy outfits and things. And that's why I wanted to draw your guys' attention to this. Because this is a very cool little aesthetic theme here. You know, you got the Ghost Rider boy completely with his head in a pumpkin on this mount. His head chopped off and he's the full full on ghost, which I think is actually pretty neat. So that's why I like this outfit here. Again, it's not tradable or anything crazy, but as far as like highlighting a cool item, I really think it's kind of cool. Uh, but I actually wanted to throw this back on you guys. Like, what is your preference for this series kind of going forward? Do you want me to focus on items that are, you know, beefcake valuable? Like, oh, you could sell this for 12, you know, giga farts a, a, a second of gold. Do you want things that are just like unique? Like, hey, if you were to jump off this cliff here and land in this little cup of water, then it gives you this little memento that you can use. That's a cup of water and you place it on the ground. Do you want stuff like that? Do you like stuff like this? It's just kind of more niche, you know, or has like a little bit of usage, but like obviously you can't sell it. So you're not going to be making gold or anything off it. Like what is your preference for this going forward? Because that can kind of help me decide like what items I want to focus on, like or like put, you know, to the forefront of focusing on. Because yesterday we did a recipe. Today we're doing an outfit. So I'm curious as to like, oh, you know, my preference would be, you know, X, Y, or Z. So just let me know what your guys' preferences are because, again, you know, I want to do what you guys want to do um, because this is this is really for you. Like, whatever you guys think is helpful because, you know, obviously I knew about this, so I want to continue to do research for items and stuff that you guys want. So just put that in the comment below, and I don't want to promise that, like, your comments will be put into the giveaway because I haven't figured it out yet, but... I am very passionate about a lot of ESO players like not being able to afford ESO plus um, just because like I, I recognize that a lot of people are in you know financial situations where they can't afford it so I really do want to give back so I don't have that figured out yet I'll probably do it as a community post like once I have like the logistics figure out because again I don't want to promise anything until I have like a clear like I can do this, I can count comments, I can then put this in a generator. I don't want it to just be this haphazard, like, oh, just pick a name at random, because I always feel like those are not, like, actually accurate. So I'm going to figure all that stuff out. I'll put the guys, uh, I'll put the logistics and stuff out in the community post so that you guys know exactly how it is. And probably in a future video, I'll, like, outline it at the beginning. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Put your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one tomorrow. And remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Oh, you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or, better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.